breathtaking views and the water is incredible. Give us a good morning and tell us where we're going. Good morning, we are going to Nusa Penina? Penida. Penida. On the bike, we're gonna take a ferry and a bike. And go explore. And my lens, as usual in the morning, fogging out. Let's go. Time to get a ripper up here. So we are here at the Yellow Bridge. This is where you catch the ferry from. And there's just a ton of people getting off the boats. And then we've got Mark over here, trying to figure out where to buy a ticket. We're not really sure, but we see a lineup. So we're gonna go stand in it. Arrived in Nusa Penita. A bit of a gong show, you like line up at this weird office to get tickets each and 60,000 a person for a public boat. And you can buy a round trip and then uh, and now when you're here, you just basically grab a motorbike and go from there. Okay, so we just got approached by a guy on the beach, and I mean, I wanted to look at the bike first, and the bike looks good, but you basically, people told us 100,000 for a bike rental, I thought it was a little expensive. Um, they offered 80 and 20,000 in fuel, so it's full of fuel, you don't have to bring it back with any fuel in it. Um, so not bad, I mean, we're prepared to, we're paying 80 on uh, Lombongan, so paying the same rate and then it comes with the fuel full and you might be able to negotiate like 10,000 off these but like Fine. it's not worth it for a dollar we don't really care that much. We made it to Klingking Beach. Uh, the viewpoint I guess more than the beach. Uh, it was a <laughs> bit of a crazy drive. Um, we were flying all over the place. We have a really nice bike. Um, way better bike than we've had anywhere else. And we're sailing past tourists because the road's awful in some parts. Uh, but we just flew by a lot of other people that had crappy bikes. and So that worked out in our advantage, really. And it is gorgeous here. It's a huge island. It takes a while to get anywhere, but it's beautiful. Katie's not feeling 100%, so she doesn't look quiet. But soak up some nice views at least. So you got the view here. Beautiful little bay. And over there is the famous view spot. We will get you a shot of that. It looks like a T-Rex and you can see people hiking down. Because you can actually go to the beach as well down there. So you're hiking down that sort of spine area. You can go all the way down. It's quite the walk. So this is the famous view that everyone comes here for. And I think there's actually a line to get like your picture taken with it. Uh, but anyway, in line. I don't care about the actual picture point. So you can wait to get a picture done here. You can stand in line up there for it. It's very hard to see, but you can see there's mantas in there. See them swimming? So life hack, the edge here is actually better than, well I like it better than the, than the cling, cling, cling king edge. This is really cool because you get just like this beautiful, beautiful backdrop. Katie doesn't like me standing here. Better than my mother. That's absolutely gorgeous. Checking out Broken Beach now. The ride here is, was treacherous and awful. There's my darling Katie. Soaking up some of this water that is far too blue for reality, I'm pretty sure. Stunning. Can't get enough of this island. This whole area is absolutely beautiful. I don't even know, I, there's nowhere else in Bali that's been more beautiful so far. We didn't get to see the Gillies, but Panita has been, everything is just breathtaking views. And the water is incredible. Far not, well, beautiful island here. So two minutes of walk away from the other side here, the Angels Billabong site. Just this beautiful reflective pool. A little windy right now, but it's just like perfectly clear, like glass. You're the one that's 
entertaining. You can sit here and watch everyone's poses. All these gram shots. Literally everywhere here is just like one giant Instagram shot. It's pretty funny. At least I find it entertaining. Also, there's a pool of blood down there. And I overheard a guy saying that someone fell <laughs> and died. <laughs> just having a little quick stretch break here along the way home. Okay, he's a little war wound. We just slipped a little bit on the road and she's scraped her leg. The roads here are nasty, nasty. Like I'm not a, I'm a fine bike rider, but I do not ride at home. I never ride other than like on the occasional trip. So it's uh, like massive potholes and broken road and like straight, like straight drops down. Like it's pretty, it's pretty ruthless. It's not like. If you're if you can drive a motorbike or a scooter, you'd be fine. And just take it slow and easy. Our bike's really good, which is nice. But like the road is nasty. It gets really bad in some areas. I see people like walking their bike through them, which I wouldn't advise. But it is what it is. It's hard to film it though, because like Katie's hanging on for dear life, and I'm it's just trying to get us like through. <laughs> two bounces so far this trip, my bum's come completely off the seat. <laughs> but anyway, we stopped for some food. Um, just near the port on Canada for our, where we're gonna head back from and just grabbing a quick bite to eat before we head there. Katie has herself a pineapple lime drink. Vegetable. And vegetables, that's right. And I've got chlorophyll and basil. It's supposed to be really good for you, so we'll see. It's supposed to clean out your immune system, so we'll see. We just both keep thinking about chloroform, so I, you know, may not make it to the port, but we'll see. Back on our boat, heading back. Just walk over to the port. So we walked to the port and just basically dropped our bike, left the keys in there for him, and then we came up and they called us and said, yep, this is your boat, and here we go. Normally Katie joins me for the gym, so I'm not gonna make this sound mean, but. I also, oh my God. Mark's heading to the gym. Katie's relaxing. Mark's a little jealous. And we're heading to the gym, then we're gonna have a relaxing evening. Um, we're gonna maybe have a massage tonight. We're gonna go talk to them about that, see if we can get that booked, but I wanna have a quick workout. Because we basically take this whole time off on New Zealand and, um, and that's about it. Because tomorrow morning we leave, and we head back to Bali, and we're going to water bomb tomorrow, so the, the water park, um, and then we fly the next day to Java to do uh, do the Borbudur and different sites, all in Yogyakarta, and then we head back to Bali again for a couple more nights. And so we've only about a, about a week left or so for a trip, but oh tons more to see. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here. Or subscribe to our other channel over here.